Let's get up to speed on a developing story now. Tehran's drafted a bill that would close the crucial global shipping route, the Straits of Hormuz. Now, the measures are aimed at shutting the waterway to countries which support a new embargo on Iranian oil. Let's get some thoughts about it live by uh, Gareth Porter, who's an investigative journalist, joining us on the line from Washington. Gareth, hi. This bill has been developed, and I quote here, uh, as an answer to the EU's oil sanctions against Iran. How much further might the Islamic Republic go to take revenge then? Well, I think that there's a very good chance that this is the first in a series of moves by Tehran to respond to the oil uh, export embargo. They're very upset about it, no question about that. It's uh, uh, costing them dearly in terms of income. And uh, they have a number of options, uh, all the way up to, of course, actually using uh, mines and other mechanisms, but primarily mines, to try to block the straits to uh, prevent shipping from going through there and delivering oil uh, from the um, oil-producing countries. Well, of course, the U.S. has claimed it won't tolerate the commercially vital route being shut down in any shape or form. We know that Washington's deployed minesweepers and other naval vessels there. Does it give any clues as to how this is likely to develop and the tension possibly rising now? Well, I think what we can look forward to in the coming weeks and months is that uh, the Iranians will make a series of moves, beginning, I think, with this uh, bill in the Majlis, uh, threatening to pass the bill um, if that doesn't have any effect, uh, certainly going ahead with the passage, uh, then uh, the first of a series of limited moves toward threatening to actually uh, put mines uh, in the strait to prevent the shipping of the oil uh, shipping from going through. And uh, then I think the Iranians have the option of a very limited use of mines, uh, very few mines being dropped uh, in the strait to uh, try to get the, uh, uh, the price of oil to shoot up, for one thing, and to get the United States to react. Uh, they have a number of options all the way, as I say, to uh, uh, dropping hundreds of mines in the, in the strait. They actually have at least 2,000 mines, probably more than that. Uh, that was the figure as of 2008. Um, they also, uh, I think it's been pretty much uh, a given on the part of the um, uh, analysts at the Pentagon that the Iranians could continue uh, to drop mines uh, for a period of weeks, uh, even if the United States has the ability ultimately to sweep them up. Uh, this crisis could go on for a number of weeks uh, with the Iranians continuing to, to uh, drop mines with uh, small boats that could not be detected or prevented from going into the strait by the United States. What's the reaction like to be from America? Well, I think the, their first reaction, of course, is to immediately uh, use their minesweepers uh, to uh, pr uh, stop the mining, to, to uh, uh, pick the mines up, uh, pick them out of the water, uh, detect them first, of course, and then pick them out of the water. But, but again, I think that they would face at least a period of weeks during which the Iranians could continue to uh, harass the shipping through mines. Um, and uh, even if the United States threatens uh, a higher level of violence, I don't think the Iranians would necessarily be deterred from continuing on that very limited basis uh, to interrupt uh, the shipping of, of oil. Well, we've got uh, so I think what the Iranians are after here is, a... is essentially to get uh, a, a very steep spike in the price of oil. Got you. Well, uh, got you. Which they have now, of course, seen the price go down. Got you. Well, we've, well, we've got you on the line. Just want to ask you one quick uh, question about the broader picture here. Maybe. I mean, Iran's closest ally in the region is, of course, Syria, which is facing its own huge problems right now. Is there any way that this increasing pressure on Damascus is in any way a proxy war on Iran? Well, of course, in some ways it is. I mean, certainly from the point of view of uh, the, the coalition, the NATO coalition behind uh, the uh, rebels uh, in Syria, there's no question that they see Syria as a major ally of Iran and, and the uh, uh, possible removal of Assad as a big blow to, to the Iranian uh, uh, security 
uh, set up in the region. So uh, there, there's no doubt that they are linked, but, but it's very difficult for me to see how, in the short run, moves in Syria are going to affect this scenario uh, in the Strait of Hormuz. All right, thanks ever so much. Gareth Porter, investigative journalist on the U.S. national security policy. Thank you.